think it had an impact either way. Um, I mean, there's been a lot of rain lately, so we've been adjusting um, practice opportunities or lack thereof on the turf and been doing a lot of video or, or some other things outside of the uh, the pitch here. Uh, but I, I, I really don't think that that had an impact either way on the, on the outcome of this game. Um, one of the things that I stress, and if you look at things statistically, um, the most goals are scored within a five-minute range of each other, whether it's the start of a half or after someone scores, there's another immediate goal, whether it's the same team or the opponent. And, um, you know, we've talked about that, and uh, I, I was disappointed from our mental aspect that we didn't handle that because it's been something we've been driving into the girls religiously. Yeah, I mean, there were a lot of calls, and, um, you know, there was a lot of stoppage of play. It was a pretty aggressive game from both teams, and the two penalty stroke calls um, were, you know, regardless as to what happened with the calls, the execution of the penalty strokes were good for both teams. So um, it's rare to see two in one game, but it was a good outcome for us when we scored and a bad outcome for us when they scored, you know. Oh, it's huge. I mean, I think, we, you know, we take a day off tomorrow. The kids need to rest and recover, and I think more emotionally than physically. And, um, and then Monday, uh, early morning practice, and, um, and we have a lot to learn. We've uh, we made some mistakes, some mental breakdowns, um, some tactical aspects that we've covered. So we'll be reviewing film, and we'll be working on those things. And, um, you know, this team is, is a bounce-back team, so I anticipate us being strong for our next game.